One of the most extraordinary things that I've come across in uh, my research on autoimmune diseases is it is so similar in many ways to cancer, although at the same time opposite. Um, the autoimmune is an overreaction of the immune system. Cancer is an underreaction of the immune system. Uh, there is a difference in regard to two helper, one T helper two uh, functions, um, T helper 17. All of these things are interesting because what I really want to look at is the underlying factors that give rise to any kind of chronic disease because they're incredibly uh, complex. One of the things, of course, we all know about is tight junction, uh, dysbiosis. It seems that both cancer and autoimmune diseases have a similar kind of pathway. We have things, uh, like, for example, microRNAs, uh, that specifically will impact tight junction function, increase uh, uh, AKT phosphorylation, T10. They are things that are going on in the body that opens up the path. But as a, as a researcher, I want to know why. Why is dysbiosis happening? It, dysbiosis is happening for a variety of reasons, uh, from a breakdown in the gut microbiome, um, irritants in there, uh, elevation of uh, tumor necrosis factor alpha, in, all of those things contribute. But what we want to do is find a way in which we can begin to treat not just the disease, but those underlying qualities, particularly with, uh, with tight junction. Now, tight junction is, is created or broken down by a thing called zonulin. And zonulin is a protein which a lot of people understand is very active in the breakdown of tight junction. But for me, the question always was, why? Why did this occur? And if you really want to analyze this, you have to see that there probably was an evolutionary uh, process involved in this. We evolved to promote things like uh, zonulin and breakdown of tight junctions because probably many people were starving. And if you're going to eat boiled grass, you want everything available to the body. So my guess is that this is actually an ancient disease where our ancestors uh, produced a, uh, a product by which they could get whatever nutrients there were in the body. You know, it doesn't care if you've got dysbiosis if you're going to die of starvation. So one of the things I've been looking at is how do we manage these tight junctions? Um, and it, it is a complex thing. Uh, if we can find an underlying factor that involves autoimmune diseases that is based on several factors, like uh, dysbiosis, tight junction function, plus an overreaction of the immune system, elevated T helper 1, we can begin to treat the vast majority of autoimmune diseases in a very uh, uh, biological sense. And then we use specific medicines for that particular kind of autoimmune disease. In, in uh, uh, biological medicine, in Western science or medicine, there are no cures for autoimmune disease. I'm not saying we have a cure, but we can disrupt the trajectory of the disease by regulating tight junction, by overcoming zonulin affection, and by treating some of the chronic inflammatory factors, which we can all measure. So again, thank you. I'm Daniel Weber.